Let us consider a situation wherein you have an existing data set in your Google Sheet and you want to trigger automations for each row in this sheet. The very first thing that you need to do is click on extensions, click on app script. Enter a name. Delete the existing data or text from this area. Now copy and paste the entire app script code from this video description. Now you need to change the webhook URL from here and get the webhook URL from the automations builder. Create a workflow. Click on plus icon. Set a webhook name. Click on this webhook URL link so it get copied and paste it here. Remember not to delete this. Now click on save. Once you have saved your app script, go to your sheet and reload it once. Once your sheet has been reloaded, you will see that you'll see a new menu option named as trigger automations. You can click on it and you can trigger all the rows or you can trigger selected rows. To create the automation or to test the automation, you need you should select send selected rows and then authorize. Select your email. Click on advance and click on go to your script name and allow your script to access your Google Sheet. Again click on trigger automations and click on send selected rows. Now before triggering the rows, let us go to the automations builder, click on capture incoming webhook. Now enter two or three rows and click on OK. Now here you will see that your first row would get received in the sample data. You can simply click on save. In the next step you can possibly send WhatsApp messages or add time delays or do various actions by mapping the data received in the webhook. Once your automation has been set, you need to click on save workflow. Remember to enable the workflow. After this, you can again trigger automations. Send either all of your rows or send selected rows and define the row numbers. Thank you.